Hello, this is Miranda from Elsa and Miranda's Rain Balloon School. <coughs> Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the triple single. You can guess where you're going in the morning. Um, so yeah. So the colors I'm going to be using for this are sparkly purple. Pink and orange. You will need so three different different colors. Well, four actually. So I'm gonna get white out. And there's some colors mixed into the others. I don't know what. And some white. In four different colors. So, you will also need a C clip or an S clip, whatever. And your hook. Okay, so the first step into making this bracelet is to place the band. So, I got my first colored band in orange. Um, yeah. Most of you do it like straight lines, um, that's not how I do it, um, so I'm going to show you my different way that I find easier. So, you're going to go from the center peg, out, like this, then you're going to take the same color, center peg, up, I'm going to continue doing that. All the way up the loom, so like this. I might have two parts to this video because it might become very long, and don't can't really do a lot of the videos. So yeah, trying to go as fast as I can, and. Yes, this is not very different from the other version, except for the fact that it's like pulled to the center instead of just straight out. You know, there's just this neon orange that comes from out of the blue, but like I mixed my oranges, so probably will appear. And now we're at the end. So you're gonna take your orange clip and stitch it from this slit peg to the center, like that. Push all these bands down. So it'll be easier to loop. Okay, now we're back at the end. We're going to grab our middle color, that will be pink. We're going to stretch it, oh wait, that's special pink. Okay, we're going to stretch it from the peg we started at, forward like you would do in the other one. If this is your first time doing a triple single and you're doing it my way, I find my way easier. So, yeah. Then you're going to take your next one and put it forward. And so on. Like I was saying, I find this one easier. Just because you have to loop it here instead of just looping it here and then you have to attach it there. don't like doing that because last time I tried, I kind of broke my bracelet. So this is better for beginners. Well, as in my opinion. Okay, we're almost done. Well, not really. And also, I'm doing this for one hand, so please bear with me. Because I don't have someone to hold my camera. Although I'm using my iPod, so yeah. And yeah, like the other one, you might see neon pink just pop out of nowhere because I mixed the two colors together. So yeah. Okay, so now we are literally almost at the end. I know my voice sounds kind of weird. <clears throat> I just woke up. I haven't drank anything yet. And in the morning, my voice is always like that. I don't know why. Hmm. Probably because I didn't drink anything last night either. Okay, 
so once you get to the end, you'll take your last pink colored band and stretch it from here forward. Now you're going to push all these down. Make sure they're on securely. Okay, now you're back to the end. Now you're going to grab your third color. In this case, it's purple. Bunch of mixed purples again. This is the regular purple. Yeah. So you're going to stretch it from the center peg out to the right. You're going to grab your next one. This is a paler one. Stretch it from that one forward. Same thing here. And you're going to do like you did on this side. I'm just going to keep pulling them forward. And there's a sparkly one. Hey, that's weird. Normal, pale, and sparkly. As you can see, they all have a difference. This one doesn't really look sparkly. It looks kind of clear. Because, yeah. They're kind of clear colors. Most of them are sparkly colors. I don't know, but I just reached the very at the bottom. So, yeah. I'm going to make a part two. My part two is looping. So, yeah. And I'll probably have the link. The If I can... I'll give you guys the link to part two, either in the description or somewhere. I don't know. Probably in the description. Once I made it. <laughs> All right. Here we have the finished uh, placing the bands. So you can come back to my next video. I'll probably still be posting today of these stuff and I'll try to keep my loom like this so I can show you guys and those are headphones I don't know why they're there and yeah so thanks for watching part one and I'll be posting part two soon okay bye